Hello and welcome to this Bite Size PD on getting started with Mastery Connect. Today we are going to go over why you might choose to use Mastery Connect and how to create and use the tracker within Canvas. Everything we do is related to our MTSS framework and this PD most closely relates to using student performance data so that we can look at the data and practice instructor agility to be able to adjust to the needs of the students in our classroom. And Mastery Connect helps us to do that. For our learning today, intentions today, you're learning how Mastery Connect can be used as effect, an effective tool to support classroom instruction and PLC conversations. And by the end of this, you'll be able to explain that purpose of Mastery Connect and update your Mastery Connect profile, as well as create a Mastery Tracker for one of your courses. Here is our agenda for today. It covers many of the things I just talked about, but we will also look at what does the tracker look like in Mastery Connect, and then how do you decide which assessments to start putting on Mastery Connect. So let's start with the basics, and that is what is Mastery Connect? Mastery Connect is an assessment tool that allows teachers to effectively determine what a student knows and is able to do based on content standards. It empowers educators to utilize data to inform instruction individually and in PLCs. We'll dig into this a little bit more when we look at the benefits or why we use Mastery Connect to support PLCs and instructors in their classroom instruction. For teachers and students, one area that um, I, as an instructional coach, I had many teachers talk to me about how can I get this up on my CTES student survey? So every year in as a part of CTES, students take a survey and they're ask, they answer several questions about their teacher and their class. And I've shared the district data for one of the classrooms or for one of the questions here. So for the 2022-23 school year, of the middle and high school students surveyed with the CTES student survey, 20% of students rated the survey item, my teacher knows when I do not understand, as disagree or strongly agree. So you can see that many teachers might have this similar feeling. I know when I was having conversations with teachers, in many instances, they felt like they really had a good understanding of what their students knew and didn't know, but students weren't always understanding or knowing what the teacher knew. And so making that process more transparent and more visible is something that Mastery Connect can help with. It introduces the tracker that records mastery of all of the different standards. And it can be a key talking point for teachers to use with our class or with individual students. It also helps teachers to be able to adjust instruction based on the needs. So both of those methods should help students to really understand and know that their teacher really does understand when they do, they're not getting certain material. One other reason that we are using Mastery Connect in this district is support to support PLCs. Mastery Connect allows teachers to share assessments really easily, and then we can also share assessment data so that PLCs can start having conversations around data in their discussions to improve student learning. One of the key, key things that I keep talking about is the Mastery Tracker. In my opinion, this is the most essential or powerful piece of Mastery Connect is this tracker. Here you can see all of your students are listed on the left side. They will automatically be populated into the tracker by the Skyward Sync um, and with Canvas. So they'll already show up there for you. And then you'll see that it's color coded along the top are our standards. So this gives the teacher a quick visual look at how many students are entering, uh, developing, demonstrating, or extending within that standard. And to determine the color coding, we'll talk a little more in depth about this later, 
But determine the color coding, it's looking at an average of all of the different assessments that cover that assessment, but it does put more emphasis on more recent data. So we're getting a more accurate picture of what students know right now and over time when it comes to all the standards. Right here at the top, you'll see a number. That's how many assessments are in Mastery Connect that cover that standard. And then here, this is a multi-standard. So it's an assessment that is covering multiple standards. One question that I get a lot with Mastery Connect is how is this different than what I can see in Skyward or Canvas? And Skyward and Canvas paint a little bit of a different picture than what Mastery Connect does. First of all, with Skyward, it's giving us a good overall look of a student's understanding but there isn't a quick, easy way for us to view it by standard so that we can pinpoint where students might need support or what I might need to reteach. So Mastery Connect gives us a big, a good understanding that we can drill down to specific skills or tasks based on standards more easily for the class um, or for individual students. And then the other big difference is kind of what I referenced on the last slide, where this is more of an average. And with Mastery Connect, it prioritizes or puts a, a higher weight on any grades assessments that were completed most recently. So it gives a better picture of what their current understanding is rather than the average that you'll see in Skyward. And then with Canvas, you can kind of get this grade book view that's going to be very similar to Skyward, or you can look at it by question. You can also look at the per question data in Mastery Connect. So that is similar. But again, with this one, I can't drill down by standard. So with the tracker in Mastery Connect, I can really see these numbers at the bottom on the tracker tell me how many students are at each level. So in this case, when I have four students that are entering, maybe this is one that I want to stand to spend some more time in, or I can identify where I can, it's okay to move on, or those that I need to maybe spend some time teaching that material again. So uh, kind of the obvious follow-up question is, OK, I'm sold. Does that mean that I need to put all of my assessments in Mastery Connect now? Absolutely not. Uh, if you think about it, we do a lot of assessments in the classroom, both formative assessments and summative assessments. It would be almost impossible if we were to put all assessments into something like Mastery Connect or really any assessment platform, because so many of the assessments we do are opportunities to respond where students are talking to each other. Maybe they're doing a quick written assignment. Maybe they are giving a presentation. And in some of those, it's gonna work great to put that data into Mastery Connect. But not every assessment needs to go into Mastery Connect. Before we go into which assessments to put in, I just want you to think about all of your assessments in your class that you use uh, to teach a unit. And within that unit, we know that it's important to give students multiple opportunities to demonstrate their learning. Mastery Connect can really be used for almost any assessment, but to get the most value out of what is in the tracker, those formative assessments, so data from frequent formative assessments are likely the most powerful for the tracker so that we can adjust instruction and make those, those teacher moves uh, to adjust instruction based on what we're seeing in the tracker to provide scaffolds or reteach material. One other thing to consider as you're looking at all of your assessments within your unit is to see what the balance is in your class or in your unit between low stakes and high stake assessments. We do want to find a balance between those two, but we definitely want to have many opportunities for students to practice and to 
learn the material and show their learning, demonstrate their learning without risk of uh, lowering their grade or, or significantly lowering their grade. So these that would be our uh, low stakes assessments here. So we want to have many opportunities for low stakes. A goal might be, and this is totally up to you of what you want to set for your own goal, but to get started, you might want to just choose to have a few formative low stake assessments per unit to get started within Mastery Connect and see how valuable that tracker is for you and making those teacher moves. So when we look at other considerations for which assessments to start with in Mastery Connect, I might recommend that you prioritize assessments that evaluate essential skills or concepts, things that you know that if a student struggles with this, they're not going to have that deep learning that they need for future standards um, or something that's just essential for them to know from the course. As you get to know Mastery Connect and the different formats of the assessment and the question types available, you'll be able to pick out which assessments that you're using fit better with what is available in Mastery Connect. If you take our Blue Level Canvas course that I'll tell you about the end of this presentation, that teaches you all about the different question types and how to get started with building assessments in Mastery Connect. And then our last kind of consideration would be anything that has standards or skills that build on each other throughout the class would be a good candidate to go into Mastery Connect again so that you can make sure that they have that foundational knowledge that will help support them later in the coursework. All right, so let's get into Mastery Connect and get started. To create your first tracker, the first thing that you want to do is to set up your Mastery Connect profile. This is an important step because it makes sure that you have access to the curriculum maps that you're supposed to. When you log in, you'll just log into your Canvas course like you normally would. You'll click on this Mastery Connect icon on the left, and then it will take you to this page that has your picture or where your picture belongs, your name, and you're gonna click Edit Profile. Once you click to edit your profile, this will come up and you'll wanna select Teacher as your role. You'll, you will select all grade levels that you teach. So for high school, you might go ahead and, and select 9th, 10th, 11th, and 12th because many times we have classes that are mixed. And then if you are in middle school, you may um, select multiple if you have class, if you are teaching different grade levels. And then last, you'll choose which subject area. If you are not math, social studies, science, or ELA, you will choose other subjects. So our CTE teachers will choose other subjects and, and you'll find all of your, or um, world language teachers will select other subjects as well. As a last step, it'll ask you to put in a password. I'd recommend using your same password that you use for your CSD docs um, or district email, just so you can easily remember it. This is mainly you'll. This is mainly for you if you use the app within Mastery Connect, but keeping it the same is is the easiest option. So once you have that, go ahead and click save. Now that our profile is set up, we're going to return to Canvas. So if you go to your Canvas dashboard, you'll choose any of your courses that you want to start a tracker in. So go ahead and click into one of your courses. It does need to be a course that is started with the Skyward Sync. So it's not a course that you have manually created. It's one that was created for you. The best way to tell is it'll say that year, 23, 24 on it, or whatever the current school year is, is generally a good indicator that that is created by the Skyward Sync. Once you are in your Canvas course, on the left side, you should see Mastery Tracker. If you do not see Mastery Tracker, you can click Settings and then go to the Navigation menu and drag Mastery Connect up so that it is visible on the left menu. Once you hit Save, and then go to Mastery Tracker. 
you're going to see a picture of a blindfolded panda. In with that blindfolded panda, you're going to click the blue link mastery tracker button. Once we click to link the mastery tracker, you are going to choose create a new tracker from a curriculum map as your um, selection or as your source. And then from the available maps, you'll choose the one that matches your content area. If you do not see a map that represents the course that you're teaching, please email scott.lambert at kenyansdistrict.org. We are constantly adding curriculum maps and we're happy to add more if you're not finding the one uh, that has your updated standards in it or you're not finding your course that you need. I did link a list of all the maps that are available if you need it. So you can click there to be able to see the list of maps that are present. Last, you'll uh, choose under shared with me, you'll select the curriculum map and your content area. Once you have found it, so you'll see this one's a health example, you can click link and then your tracker is created. It will populate very much like the tracker that I was showing you on the previous page that has your students on the left and it won't have any data yet because you haven't done assessments, but it will populate data as assessments are completed. To learn more about creating assessments and using Mastery Connect, I encourage you to take our green or blue level Canvas courses. We'll also have some upcoming uh, PDs similar to this one available. All right, have a good day. Thanks.